Welcome inside Kauffman Stadium. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway, and starting this one is Zach Greinke. Chris, what are you looking for from him? He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Okay, all set to go. Here's Tim Anderson. Leading off the night for the White Sox, the shortstop, Tim Anderson. The pitch. Fought off foul. First pitch, 7 11. Deal one. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And a base hit up the middle. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands the just continue base. to carry Leori. through Garcia. the middle of the field. Leori Garcia up to the plate. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, there's the strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Anderson runs. Pitch in for a strike. In there safely. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Foul ball. Man at second. Stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And he deals. In the dirt, and the runner holds. Anderson at second with nobody out. Up the middle. Throws to first. One out in the top of the first. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Here the sixth spot for them in this one, A.J. Pollock. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. The pitch. Jose Abreu. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. On the ground, right side. Lopez tosses the first. Run scores, but a terrific play to get the out. The catcher, Yasmani. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. On to the bottom of the first. 
It's the White Sox one. KC coming to bat. And today's starter, Michael Kopech. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Whit Merrifield. First pitch just misses. In the air, right field. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. When you pop a ball up like that, you that don't expect second. it to get you a knock too baseball. often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop oh, in man. behind first base. And that's where no one could get to it. Nicky Lopez steps in for the Royals. The pitch. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. On the ground right side. Over to Abreu. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. That is good. The catcher. And next up for the Royals, Salvador Perez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. The right-hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Tied up here in the early going. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send him back to the dugout. Next offering is foul back. And the 0-2. Pitch misses, gonna count one and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. One, two, bottom of the first, the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there's two away. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They really got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Dozier. And to the plate for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Righty to the plate. Ooh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. Yeah. 
swing and a miss three and two now well they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now two down nobody on Slice to right, and that's just foul. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Second inning coming up here in Kansas City. All tied 1-1. Welcome back. Top of the second. Here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. The left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. A swing and a soft liner. Mondesi makes the catch. One down. Batting fifth. The right fielder, number 12. A.J. A.J. Pollock, Pollock at the dish. The pitch. That one misses. Ball one. The wind of the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Well, you know this guy wants a pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The one two nope. that misses the zone and it's two and two next offering is fouled back the wind and the pitch stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. 2-2 two, two now. In the air to left center, Oliveris. Ranging into the alley, two up, two down. Batting seven, the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. So digging in, Gavin Sheets. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Oliveris makes the catch, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the inning, so up now for Kansas City, Andrew Benintendi. The left fielder, Andrew. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson, a consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone, but once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. And a count one and two. Hard hit, right side. Over to Abreu, 
And Benintendi is out. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And next up for the Royals, Edward Olivares. The pitch. Just missed. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Abreu makes the grab, and there are two outs. Batting seven, the shortstop, number 27. Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. The pitch. That clips a corner. And that one is lifted in the air. Jimenez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Royals bats are quiet there. Score remains deadlocked at one. All set for the start of the inning. And now the center fielder, Adam Hayes. Leading off for the White Sox, the center fielder, Adam Hazley. And a pitch. Nope. And takes low for ball one. Kicks and fires. Right field, down the line, and that one slices foul. Left-hand hitter waits. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Here's a one-two. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Danny Mendick steps to the plate for the White Sox. Granke back to work, and he takes a strike. Center field. Olivares settles underneath it. And there's one down. The battle, number seven. Shortstop, Tim Anderson. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tim Anderson. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. And he deals. That misses. Ball one. Paisley leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a one-to-one. -one. Double play ball to second. They put the tag on him. Back to first double play. And that's it for the inning. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One -one. 
as we go to the last of the third. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. The pitch. That one in there across the letters. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. And the pitch. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Carlos Santana powers one out. Home run number five on the season. It's 2-1. So good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And to the plate for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Got and the pitch. The third baseman, Bobby Witt. In the air right Junior. field, Pollock under it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. The right fielder, number 15, Merrifield. Whit Merrifield steps in for the Royals. Here comes a pitch. Way outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Next pitch is outside. Next one misses, and it's 3-0. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Three zero down. And he pumps it a strike. And now it's filled up. Payoff pitch. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good Down about back. what you did Second at the basement. plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Rounded out his first time. First offering, and it just misses. Kopeka throw over. Merrifield dives back in. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. and oh. Kicks and deals. Merrifield on the move. Pitch is low. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Here's a 3 0. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. pitch 
part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage there was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it and now the one and that one fouled off definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open Going oh, two now. Out front and foul to the left side. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One out. Runners at first and second. Here's a chopper to short. Anderson fires across the diamond, and they get Perez for the out. Up next for the Warriors, the designated hitter, Hunter Dozier. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Hunter Dozier. And here it comes. And that's outside. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss. And it's 1 and 1. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Merrifield on third. Lopez on at second with two down. That one the other way. Can't get there. Base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score. And they're up by three. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Andrew Benintendi steps up. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. The 1 Ball one there. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right hander kicks deals. I got to count two and two. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And down on strikes. Good job of damage control right there. Three innings complete. It's the Royals four and the White Sox one. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the number Leading two the hitter, Leori Garcia. The, the White Sox Leori in striking distance, Garcia. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. On the ground to first. He handles it himself. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of now keeping the ball out the of the air. Season. Let's the defense okay. work behind him with another ground okay. ball. Good execution. Jose Abreu up to hit. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. 
he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field well the offense has gotten going and a pitcher wants to go out there have a real quick inning get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot the 1-0 Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. On the ground, right side. Santana takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Now at the plate, Yasmani Grandal grounded out his first time. The right hander back to work. And the pitch is outside, ball one. So two balls and no strikes. Two oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. And the righty deals. In the air, left field. And a base hit right there. And that extends the inning. Puts the tag on him, leaving the box. And that's the third out to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Royals four and the White Sox one. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. So up now for Kansas City, Edward Oliveris. For the Royals, the center field. Here's a strike. Edward. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Left field, and just foul. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Swing and a base hit. The batter, number 27. At Alberto Mondesi, now at the plate. With the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like now he was set up for it by something off speed man. earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Kopeka throw over. Oliveras dives back in safely. The 
the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Check on the runner, Olivares. Back easily. Olivares stands at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. And that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Another batter down. Bobby Witt Jr. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. That one ripped, but fouled. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close the to right the top field. of the strike number zone, 15. a hitter, if he's prepared Switch. for it, can get to it. But that one just Barrow had that little here. jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Whit Merrifield. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And the 1 0. -0. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and now that last one didn't base even base. threaten the zone. Bet you might want to go talk to him. Dallas Keuchel comes on now, and he steps right into a bases loaded jam. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And a pitch. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And that is that. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Royals four and the White Sox one. Back here in Kansas City, we go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, the Aloy Jimenez. The left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. The pitch. Good eye right there. That clips the corner. The 
the wind of the pitch. Stays alive. The wind to kick the pitch. Good eye in that spot. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. And that one pulled foul. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. In the air, right side, Merrifield gliding as he moves to his left. One away. The right fielder, number 12, A.J. A.J. Pollock steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a pitch. A little bit low. Ball one, no strikes. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Ball to strike. That's inside. Up the middle, Lopez collects. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. The bat, the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets will hit next. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two outs. This one in the air center field. Oliveris settles under it. And that'll do it. Down in order go the White Sox. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And to the play for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez. And a pitch. There's a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Ball. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Ruiz appears to be getting loose. Lopez getting loose as well. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything nothing right David right there. Him. Nothing to show Hunter. for it. But in your mind, you have no to convince sure. yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And now it's going to be Hunter Dozier. Here comes a pitch. Nope. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Close one doesn't get the call, and it's two and zero. Oh. Next pitch is outside.
kick Sandios. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now, now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Andrew Benintendi. The pitch. Nope. Just missed. At the belt and fires. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Two away down. The center fielder, number 14, Edward. And next up for the Royals, Edward Olivares. And here it comes. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. Royals leave one, but they lead it four to one. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's the center fielder, the Adam right Hazley. Side. The center fielder, Adam Hazley. Granke back to work. Base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have now been a little it. behind the Third pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Yeah, the batter now, Danny Mendy. And he deals. Missed inside with the curve. Hazley gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That's a hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So the lineup flips over. Here's Tim Anderson. Yeah. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it and they bail you out. The pitch. Good eye right there.
Out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu up to hit. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. 7 8 9, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Royals four, and the White Sox one. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. For the Royals, the shortstop, number 27. The wind in the pitch. And a good eye there. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Jose Ruiz preparing to come on if needed. Crick getting cranked up as well. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. the ground Garcia picks it up in plenty of time to first and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six first baseman Santana. and now it's the switch hitter Carlos Santana he blasted one out earlier in the third just a solo home run but an important swing in the bat in this game we've already seen him do it once can he do it again pitch and that's outside and now the lefty that one off the mark two balls no strikes the count The 2 1. Just missed. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. The third base is number seven. Bobby. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Santana, the base runner at first with one out. That one pushed foul. Hit weakly on the ground. Over to Anderson. And it's a double play to end the inning. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals four and the White Sox one. New inning getting started. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Well, both sides equally as strong. Yasmani so not a good time Grandal. to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The pitch. 
That's in for a strike. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Josh Stamont up and getting ready for Mike Matheny. Brents, the lefty, warming up as well. All in one now. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, now and at least so far, not deliver. showing a ton Deloitte. of signs of fatigue. Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez now. Yeah, the right hander back to work. 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. Off the mark there. And now it's even one and one. The one one. He swings and fouls one off. And the right hander deals. That ball two, 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 yeah. Got him. And two away now. And up next oh, for Chicago, A.J. Pollock. Right Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. First pitch, and he just misses. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. The 1-0. And that one upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 3-0. and He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The wide to kick the pitch. Yeah. And now three and one. In the air, right field, Merrifield on the move. And that is that. Nothing to do it for the White Sox. And they trail it 4-1. Set for the last half of the seventh. So up now for Kansas City, Whit Merrifield. The, Royals, the right fielder, Whit Merrifield. And a pitch. There's the strike. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. He was racing down the line and Second probably didn't base. assume he was going to be safe until his foot hit the bag and looked up for the umpire. Nice bunt and great hustle to get himself a knock. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And he deals. That one's in there. Strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Merrifield on the move. 
Out towards right center field. Pollock on the move. Calls it in, and there's one away. The catcher, number 13. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate for the fourth time tonight. Keichel over to first. Merrifield dives back in. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. And here it comes. Merrifield, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Two and oh. The pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Throw to first, and he's back in there. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, there's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Royals four and the White Sox one. And welcome back. We're the top of the eight at the play. Gavin Sheets. Leading off for the White Sox. The designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Benintendi on the move. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting the center fielder, Adam Hazley. So up next, Adam Hazley. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And a pitch. Ball one low. Line drive and foul ball. The one one. Foul ball there. Oh, that one misses in the dirt. Whew, I thought he'd bite right there. Next offering upstairs. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued to me. Danny Mendez Danny. steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for two. The pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. One one. Now the 0 1. That one hit to right. Snags it for the second out. Now batting shortstop Tim Anderson.
And next to hit for the Sox, Tim Anderson. The right hander back to work. And a strike. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And the righty deals. Up the middle, into the outfield base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The second baseman. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Zach Greinke will give way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Josh Stamon, trying to protect this lead. Number 63. First and second, two down. Leori Garcia up to the plate. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. On to Lopez. And that's terrific work out of the bullpen. One pitch to end the frame. White Sox strand a couple, and this is still a 4 1 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jose Ruiz. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Back here in Kansas City, and now the DH, Hunter Dozier. Leading up for the Royals, the designated hitter, Hunter Dozier. The pitch. Ground ball, left side. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time, it's a double. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Now There's something about Not pulling good. one down the line and shooting it through the infield. It's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Pollock under it. Not in time. He's safe. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now batting center fielder, Edward Oliveris. Edward Oliveris digs in now. One for three. And the pitch. They say it went. Dozier stands at third with one gone in the inning. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Kendall Graveman getting loose out there. Crick warming up as well. And that's downstairs and outside. Here comes a pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Runner on at third, one gone. On the ground to the left. Not in time. He's safe. The bat, number 27. 
runners on the corners with one gone. And now the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. And a pitch. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Left-hand batter waits. First and third, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. A one two. And now two and two. Comes the two two. Popped up. Mend it. Racing over to make the catch. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right now there. Hitter First looked like there. he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just Ten beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Carlos Santana getting ready to hit. And the right hitter back to work. And that's in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Two outs. Misses off the inside, and it's two and one. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is down low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Three, two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Royals strand a pair as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Scott Barlow. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, top of the night. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And a pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Righty to the plate. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Kicks and deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Jose Abreu goes deep. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 4-2. Well, oh, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise.
Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. Now batting the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And the 1 0. That one missed. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Sliced hard, but foul. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one down. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to now fight man. off. It's kind of like a cutter. and just can eat you off, man. saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Barlow back to work. And now just two outs away. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just could catch up. The 1 1. On the ground to third. Witt over to first. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. The right field is a AJ Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, A.J. Pollock. The pitch. There's the strike. Just one out away, try to close it out. Slow roller to first. Throw to first, that'll do it. And the Royals take the first two games of this series. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus, pushed through to the finish line. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopey saying so long.
We remind you to please drive home safely.